um, she's holding a lot of shit inside of her, a lot of shit that she done did. And, you know, she might have got drunk and did some shit that she ashamed of and just all kind of shit. Right. Right. So when she realizes that I've already shown her some things, right, to help support her in her own recovery. Right. I'm going to show you how to have a recall of all the shit that's out there. See, because there's a whole bunch of shit out there and that's why you don't feel whole. Now I'm talking like I'm going to talk to this woman. Okay. And you guys just follow me. So, so the reason why you don't feel whole is because there's so much that that's out there, right? You got a lot of shit out there and you didn't even realize that it's out there. So you don't feel whole. So I want you to understand this before I ask you the next question or explain to you. The fact that I can show you that, identify that to you, lets you know that I can support and help you in that recall. The fact that I even showed you why you don't feel whole, explained it to you where you can understand, should give you the confidence that if I'm sharp enough to see that, I'm also sharp enough to support you in that recall. Now, what is that recall? That's recalling all the shit that you put out there that you didn't think was worth anything. All that you done put out there, right? I'm going to teach you how to recall all of you back. Because that's why you so open, so exposed, right? That's why you move the way you move. Because of that. But I'm going to help you pull all that shit back. We're going to do that together, right? Right. Okay, now look. I want, to, I want to say this to you. I've been in the lifestyle, right? And I've had many women in the game, right? And people used to say, man, you don't love no hoe. And I'd be like, well, man, I'm insulted by that. My mama was a hoe. I'm insulted that you think because somebody has chosen an alternative lifestyle, it could be a stripper, it could be a hoe, it could be a firewoman, it could be anything, right? That you think somebody doesn't have the capacity to care for somebody, right? So I'm offended by that because my mama was a hoe and I love my mama, right? So when I had a woman that was with me in the life that I expressed to her, that I got love for hoes like I got love for my mama. You feel what I'm saying? And she feeling that, right? And I said, those women chose to be out there and they sleep with guys. No, I said, I didn't give a shit about that because we was on a whole fucking other level, right? We was have nots coming together, trying to have something together, trying to build something together. And that's what we did. And we elevated ourselves above what average motherfuckers get stuck on. They stuck on sex. And we found a love that was greater than sex. You know how I learned that? And I'm talking to her. And she's listening. How, how'd you learn it? I, I learned it like this. Because, you know, there are people that have an affinity and love for God, but they ain't never seen him. I love God and they ain't never seen him one time. Not one time. I said, there go people in the Middle East that blow themselves up over their religion, over their love of God. There are people that have done a whole bunch of things that are more extreme than anything, but they've never seen God one time. Never had a hug from him. Never had a hug from God, a kiss from God. But they go to the extreme. I said, that's why I know there's a love greater than a physical love. That's why I could love that hoe that was with me, because we was tapping into something greater than the physical love that's limited to them niggas out there that's stuck on sex. I'm not stuck on sex. And I don't want you to be stuck on sex. Do you want to be stuck on sex? No. OK, so what we about to do, we about to about to have a recall. Right. And, and I want you to go through whatever. I know that the shit that you think motherfuckers would have judged you for and them square niggas probably would have judged you for. And I'm not asking you to do any of this for me. I'm asking to do it for you because you're in the presence of a man right now. And a man don't give a fuck about whoever you was fucking with. Because when you started with me, you started over brand new. Because can't a nigga in the fucking world fuck with me. And I'm talking to her like that and she feeling my spirit. And she ready to say whatever. And I want you to clean all them niggas up from out of your life. That's how we get rid of them niggas. And we're going to turn them niggas and they nick and them niggas into ashes by the time we get finished with it. Don't you feel ashamed about any fucking thing you did? Because I'm not one of them square ass niggas that you up around. Do you understand I'm that choosing. shit there? <laughs> she said she chooses. <laughs> I'm saying again. 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 <laughs>